Dead Rising is a game where thousands upon thousands of zombies have infested the mall of a small town called Willamette. You play as photojournalist Frank West, who must fight off the undead hordes for three days while rescuing survivors and uncovering the origin of the zombie outbreak. So when we first join Frank, he's just arrived into town. First thing he does is try to break both his legs. Hello there. Huh? You're the reporter, aren't you? You came alone. Yeah. You came by helicopter, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Almost as if... The reporter helicopter. Well, yeah. Everyone's already dead. <gasps> yeah. Anyways, you head into the mall and meet up with a group of survivors. And now Frank gets at this. Zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Oh. Hey, this is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. Zombies beaten alive by zombies. Well, everyone dies except for Frank and these other guys. Where are the others? I don't know. Man, yeah, fuck it, they're all dead. No. We better not use this door. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? Hey. Hey. And away we go. Into another two cutscenes. Zombies, huh? Probably just a sprain. I've covered wars, you know. Hey! This is no time to over pretty girls, son! When you finally actually get into the mall, you only really have one objective. And that's be at the helipad at noon in three days. Everything else really isn't essential for completing the game. You can just ignore everyone calling for help. But that's no fun. While in the mall, you can use anything around you as a weapon, effective or not. And as you level up, Frank learns some new moves to fend off the evil dead. Prestige points are the XP of the game, and they can be earned by taking photos, killing zombies creatively, defeating bosses and saving survivors. The mall is split up into plazas. You got the Entrance Plaza, Alfresca Plaza, Wonderland Plaza, North Plaza, Paradise Plaza, and the Food Court, with a massive park in the middle connecting them all together. Then there's the Maintenance Tunnels, which has been completely overrun by zombies. So we wander around and... Oh, we're so slow! Eventually I head to Brad, who's under fire by the guy we saw on the roof. I've never fired at a person. But I have one thing he doesn't have. A shotgun. <clears throat> never fired at a person. He got away. Who was that? I don't know. Well... The name's Brad. Damn. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? Fantastic! You win, Frank. Let's work together. After that little encounter, we head with Brad to the entrance plaza. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. I am not us. opening any gate! Thank you very much! Now we get some time to kill until the next scoop. So I had to look around, got some new clothes, found this guy behind some boxes in the back of his shop. With the fear of death being the active speaking party in this situation, Bill decides to tag along. So I give him a shotgun and he starts flipping out like a monkey on acid. Bill, Bill, come on, stop. Following that minor hiccup, we run into another two survivors. And after some gentle persuasion, we upgrade to a foursome. On our way back, we cut through the park and immediately get ambushed by three very unfocused convicts. They don't really seem to be responding in the way I thought they would be. Now at Paradise Plaza, we run into this guy, Kent, who's a fellow photographer with a chip on his shoulder. After doing this photo shoot, he leaves, but not before asking us to get a sexier shot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We then head back to the warehouse. Zombies, huh? Fatality. Fantastic. We got a line out or what? The signal's being blocked. There's a helicopter coming. It's my ride. Is your ride reliable? I don't know. All right then. Now I have to wait till morning for the next scoop, so I head out in search of more survivors. The first I found was Leia, and she's got a bum leg. Then I run across two Japanese tourists. 
Okay, not too bad. I can carry Leia where these guys give support. Then I found David, who has a bum Leia. Oh. So after clearing the way, because these lot ain't gonna do it, I arrive at the gun shop. But the manager isn't so happy to see us. Look, Mr. Gun! Closer! Hang on. Go! Hey, closer! Have a nice little chat. Or not. After this, I run out of the shop into freshly spawned zombies. Yeah, thanks, Capcom. Damn, damn, mister. Come on now, you crazy? Yeah. We then head to Wonderland Plaza, where I've been informed the Space Rider machine is out of control. Well, I can tell that a boss fight's about to happen. If the area surrounding the objective is void and zombie-less, there's a boss. Adam may look like some work, and to be fair, for first time players, he's no pushover. With the ability to block bullets and the amount of damage he can do, it can seem overwhelming. Melee is the way to go. Or you could just bring your own chainsaw. Groovy. Did you wake up today thinking you'd see this before the day ended? Saw that Frank shuts down the roller coaster and this guy steps off. He then leads us to a hidden shortcut from Wonderland Plaza to Paradise Plaza. And this saves so much time once you unlock it. Everyone ends up back at the security room and day two begins. Carlito, the shooter from earlier, is seen with Dr. Barnaby, the old man from earlier. So it's up to Frank and Brad to sort things out. One bus fight later and you rescue the doctor and Brad and Carlito shoot each other. Brad! I'll be fine. He's running a fever. Fever. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is medicine. So Frank quickly pops to the chemist, only to find this guy and his presumingly unknowing, unconscious new wife. My store! Bitch! Need medicine! Not of my wife! I've covered wars, you know. My store. Have a nice day. Clean up! Register six! No. No time to over pretty girls, son. One tough cookie. I don't need any help. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. Okay, so medicine acquired. On my way back, I got two more survivors in Wonderland Plaza. One of them's been shot and wants a gun. Warning, do not give him a gun. After a successful voyage back to the security room, we quickly grab a sexiest shot. Fantastic. You should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Woman, what do you think I've been doing? Oh, yeah. Must be from that girl I saved. Girl? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. <gasps> Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Maybe if I can track down that woman again. Anyway. Behold! The end of the world is upon us, defiling us all. The only path to the salvation of the soul is the purging of the tainted blood! What's he saying? I don't know, dude. Just help me pack her up so I can go get a sandwich. What? So, zombie outbreak just happened, so recent the army isn't even here yet, but yeah. Let's start a cult. This town's got a pretty big amount of people willing to just sign up to it anyway, so hey, let's just see what happens, right? Fantastic. So now we've escaped, the convicts can have another go. Why they come back? I don't know. 
Once dealt with, we head to the North Plaza, where we bump into another crazy with a machete. Oh yeah. Hmm, okay. A bit tough, but now we've got a posse to help out. So let's head over to Wonderland Plaza, where another crazy who's a cop wants to fight. Okay. This town was just one bad day from going over the edge, wasn't it? I think the zombies are only one of many problems with this place. Well, back in the story, Frank finds the girl from earlier and she wants to fight. Frank wins by KO and forgets about personal space because he wants answers, damn it. What do you know about the zombies? Zombies? Meh. Yeah. And I promise. I'll come back. More waiting, more zombies, more waiting, more zombies. Oh, so Kent's back. <sighs> yeah, but don't worry about him. So it seems Frank may finally have a chance to talk to the big bad guy. But it's only day two and the box says 72 hours, so, uh... So we take Isabella back to our dungeon and Brad don't like it one bit. Suddenly, developments. Barnaby begins to go off human life and thinks he'll do better as a zombie. So he decides to break out his sick dance moves and dies. Or does he? Yes. So everything settles down when suddenly... Isabella, I'm a little bored. I might blow up the mall. Is that okay? But that can wait because sacrifices. Well, that was easy, but getting everyone back, not so easy. Come on guys, quit shoving. Okay, what was next again? The bombs. So now it's a race against time to save the mole and all the dead in it. To save like, 15 people, but- Guess who's back? Well, Carlito's done playing fair and just tries to run you over, but he still didn't bring a shotgun. Yeah, you get him, Brad. I believe in you. Oh. Well, shit. So now we... Oh, wait. I want the achievement. Perfect. Go back to the security room. As soon as Brad gets his hands on that terrorist, I guess it'll be case closed, huh? Uh, yeah. Sure. More plot stuff. Now we're here. Both might know. Family stuff. Frank, I found something interesting on a security feed from inside a store. Could you come back here? Hey Frank, some crazy guy's got Carlito and he's taking- I got it. Oh, okay. Hello. I saved this man from being eaten. Please, you've got to help me get out of here. Oh! Damn. Killed by the last guy. Come to think of it, I'm not very good at this. Yeah, you suck. Damn. Ugh. Wait a second, he didn't explain shit. So with the main bad guy dead, I guess we just gotta find something to do to kill time until the chopper arrives. Oh yeah, I should probably tell Isabella her brother's dead. Yeah, that sucks. Well, see ya. Oh, now the army shows up. Oh, come on, I was only gone five minutes. Fantastic. Well... Otis stole a chopper and didn't wait for us, so it's just Frank and Isabella now. But she don't want to go, so Frank leaves her behind. And at this point, the army's killed all the zombies in the mall. So for the last couple of hours, you're on your own, walking alone in a lifeless mall with a load of corpses around you. It's a bit disturbing, really. So we go up to the helipad and wait. And finally, the chopper arrives to come get us the hell out of the... Ah.
Oh, forget this. I'm getting out of here one way or the other. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.